stock up big and the pre-market up more than 6%. So important to note, you're not profitable yet, but revenue more than doubled. Give us a sense. What was the driver for demand this quarter? Well, thank you. Uh, it's a, an exciting time for us launching the four technology uh, platforms you talked about, but our revenue has never been higher. Uh, we beat our guidance uh, across revenue and profitability, doubling our revenue from last year, up 20% uh, just from the last quarter. Um, all of this coming uh, from strength in multiple markets. Our, our first market was GAN for charging your phone, your tablet, or your laptop. We can fast charge those phones and tablets up to three times faster with half the size and weight. We're seeing a lot of strength in the smartphone market coming from players like Samsung, the Chinese players like Sha uh, Xiaomi, Oppo, and many others. But we see strength in the other markets too. Our chips are used in solar, are in data okay. center to power those powerful AI processors, uh, and also okay. electric vehicles fast charge your car. I, I want to touch on something you just mentioned. You mentioned you work with quite a few Chinese tech companies. In fact, just about 50% of your revenue comes from China. Give us a sense. We're talking a lot about decoupling, de-risking, also some of the tensions and restrictions between the two countries. How does that impact the long-term growth story for your business? You know, I think it's promising. It's gotten more complicated for sure, but I think we're seeing a deglobalization where you need to focus on localization. So a lot of people are talking about China for China, the West for the West. And we think that's the right strategy. We've got a great team, uh, a great business, a great supply chain coming together in China. We've got the same thing for the Western countries to serve their needs. So we have to look at the sign of the times, deglobalization is the trend, and we're following that very strongly and set up to serve our customers wherever they are around the world. So according to Rosenblatt Securities, you have just about 25% of the GAN chip market. Again, that's often used um, for higher or newer powering for uh, um, devices. In fact, you just uh, secured a deal with Samsung to be the chip for their new fast charger. And this GAN market actually, according again to Rosenblatt Securities, basically doubling year over year in the last few years. Um, so this is a lot of, uh, based on devices. Give us a sense. How do your chips fit into the AI story as well? Yeah, it's been crazy. Just in the last nine months, we're seeing a nearly a doubling in the power consumption needed for these AI chips. They can take up to 1,000 amps just for a single processor. That's an incredible amount of power. That puts a lot of pressure on us to deliver the power chips that can make that happen. We're just launching a brand new platform, the entire power supply, using our latest uh, generation technology that you mentioned earlier. That's double the power density of what you could do with a silicon power device uh, just in the last year. So we're really stepping up to that challenge. We see a huge trend towards using gallium nitride and silicon carbide chips to power data centers next year and then uh, many years to come. All right, give us a little bit more insight into your business. We're showing some of your customers right now. Uh, Dell, Lenovo, two big PC makers. That business has been under a bit of pressure. Also, you also provide chips for uh, alternative energy providers, SolarEdge and Enphase. That business has been under a bit of pressure. Longer term, as we go into next year with concerns of recession, what are your customers telling you about chip demand? Yeah, the, what's pretty cool about our technology, it's enabling technology for new markets. You mentioned some of them, electric vehicle, electrification of virtually everything, home appliances, solar to create that electrical energy, but we're also displacement technology. So even in existing markets, like powering your smartphone, uh, the data center, AI chips, today they're doing that mainly with silicon chips. We're coming in to replace the silicon with more efficient, lower cost, more reliable gallium nitride and silicon carbide. It means that even in markets are flat, no, we're not completely recession proof, but even if the markets are flat or declining, we can grow our share by displacing that silicon with our new generation GAN and silicon carbide technology.